All right, so um, both Richard and I, Maxwell, uh, thought that um, music is cool and we wanted to do something music related for our um, final project. And I also, I've always wanted to work with accelerometers and gyroscopes, so we figured that using a glove to make notes based on the position and rotation of your hand would um, be a very interesting project and fit well for the course's final project. Um, so here we have two flex resistors mm -hmm. um, hooked up on the pointer and middle fingers and then um, we have an IMU, it's a little uh, taped. IMU stands for Inertial Measurement Unit. Um, so on this ship is a gyroscope, a accelerometer, and a magnometer. Um, we're only using the gyroscope and accelerometer. Okay. Um, and then this goes down to a microcontroller. Here's the microcontroller. We've got a um, basically a very simple ITC circuit here, and then the um, voltage divider signal, um, I guess signals for the um, flex resistors that act as potentiometers, and then this circuit right here is the 3.3 volt source okay, for the accelerometer, and then the uh, then you go through a MIDI uh, through a serial connection to yeah. a, a, a MIDI a MIDI uh, conversion Correct. program. Takes, and then yes, takes no. serial input and then uh, sends out a MIDI signal to a program called Simple Synth or any or any uh, software MIDI synthesizer. So 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 it's a software MIDI synthesizer. So yeah. what yeah. you're doing is you, you've built a MIDI controller effect. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You've built a MIDI controller. So play it. All right, so um, right now we're on an instrument called a warm pad. It's hooked up so, or it's written so that you only can play notes on a certain scale. Mm -hmm. um, but you can change the scale by flicking up. Um, we also change the instrument. Um, so you flick, si you flick sideways and change the instrument. Yeah, you, you flick flicked up to change the, sca the scale. Yeah, so if you move up, it... Okay. Um, just it's all it's always a major scale. Okay. But the starting note, you know, when when the program initially starts out, it's at sixty. So the, when your hand is at zero, it'll play middle C and go all the way up to okay one C up, and then you can keep going up and it'll go to C sharp. Okay. And D well, okay. Play it. And you, you, you could put a little vibrato on it, couldn't you? Yes. Too, you? So if you hold it down. So that's so right now what he's doing is he's holding down his pointer finger. And then if he has his middle finger pushed down and his pointer finger is also down, then it creates a vibrato. But if you just put the middle finger down, it doesn't really do anything unless you're playing a note. Um, one of the reasons we had uh, major scales put into this is because because it's a virtual um, space basically when you're playing the notes it's very easy to mess up and hit the wrong note so if you only have the notes in a specific key available to play even if you miss the correct note it still won't sound as off okay because it's already it's in the scale right, right. and it also eliminates the amount of notes that you can possibly play so mm -hmm. less chance of actually making a mistake okay it gives you a greater range okay you. so change instruments now for me yeah so if I flick right, I can now play pan flute. Okay, so, so show, show me, flick the wrist, change instruments. So we're playing a piano right here, yeah. and you flick the instrument. There's a couple of pianos, so you don't... Uh -huh. we found, one instrument we found that was very interesting on the MIDI synthesizer was a gunshot. And you can change the pitch of this as well and make it play. And then, see, we accidentally changed back, but... We'll see if I can. Okay, there was one voice that was kind of vo vocal or voice-like there. Let's find it. There's 127 different instruments. Oh my gosh! I will just go go for go go for a while and then and show me something there. Yeah. Don't have to go all the way through. 